As Governor Gavin Newsom updates Californians on what the future of the state may look like in the next coming months, the students and staff of schools statewide remain unsure of what the future school year may hold. The same can be said for Carlmont High School. COVID-19 is unlike anything else this generation of learners has ever experienced, and the state of the nation changes with each passing day. According to a survey sent to Carlmont students on Monday, May 11th, approximately six in 10 staff members and three in four students were in favor of having flex time for next year. Two schedules piloted during the school year gave Carlmont students the opportunity to have a modified block schedule on Wednesday and Thursday. Flex time allows students to meet with their teachers in advance. If COVID-19 continues to have a bearing on how the next school year functions, it is uncertain how flex time will be incorporated. I cannot speak for every teacher, but I think after this experience, everyone is thinking about how to incorporate the online component, because even if we do go back to school, um, there's still possibility that we might have to go back to distance learning depending on what's happening. So I would suggest every teacher plan for um, an online component. My prediction is that in the near future, unfortunately, a lot of our Carlmont uh, experience will be virtual. Teachers, staff members are going to try to make that uh, experience as good as possible uh, for our students. But even during regular school, uh, a lot of what makes Carlmont great is the, uh, the energy and the creativity and the inclusiveness uh, of our students. I don't know what sports is gonna look like, performing arts, clubs, there are gonna be voids, but our students are gonna fill those voids. We're going to see um, your fellow classmates create opportunities that never existed before uh, to bring students in and to provide experiences uh, that are going to be new, and I'm excited to see what that looks like. In an interview, Principal Ralph Crame stated that Karma and the district office are exploring all options for school in the fall. The district has created a task force to work on a plan that can be flexible depending on what the social distancing guidelines will be as we get closer to the start of school next year. Lastly, students themselves discuss how they are dealing with the situation at hand. My education, sure, it's not at its most optimal point, um, obviously, this is not the ideal way that most of us would like to learn. I'm a type of learner who enjoys talking to my teachers and my classmates, and I glean a lot of what I understand from class through interactions and through listening to lectures. So in some ways, I feel like I've definitely lost that key aspect of school during this distant learning time. But in many ways, I feel like it's, it's worth it because we need to be self-isolating and taking precautions to protect all of the people who are at risk are those who can't protect themselves, like our nurses and our other healthcare professionals and necessary workers. I personally haven't felt much of a struggle since uh, we started distance learning. However, at the very beginning, you know, it was a big shift to go from learning in school and then distance learning. So it definitely did take a while to get used to that. But once I'd gotten into that groove, it was a lot easier and it wasn't really much of a problem. For me, I think it's going to be kind of a reality shock and you're going to be able to see people come out of it and like be more thankful for things maybe. You'll, you'll be able to tell people who were affected during COVID-19 versus people who um, maybe are born this year or next year and didn't experience it and thought normality, the status quo was normality. As the crisis continues, we would like to make one last reminder to adhere to the stay-at-home policies that the government of California has put in place. Much remains unknown about the virus and the extent to which it will spread to. Social distance and stay healthy. Reporting for Scott Center News, this is Ruya Yaman and Zachary Corey.